there is a there are a lot of paintings coming in the book. Uh, so these are three of my uh, standard subject, I would say. Like I I like to paint uh, the greenery in Kokan, Kerala, or the coastal side of thing, the tiled roof houses, coconut trees, and a lot of greenery. But these uh, certain paintings have a lot of white space in the painting left. There are a lot of colors and there is a lot of white space. So from an aesthetic point of view, uh, initially I used to leave the white space around the painting so that the inner uh, subject is appreciated. But that I call like a more, more like a greeting card aesthetics, like the space is left. But over the period, there are certain white areas and certain shapes uh, which actually are not just there to appreciate the color portion, but they have an entity of their own. So I like to call it as a not left space, but a found space. If I remember, the white space discovery actually happened while I was sketching, sketching with pencil, a shaded drawing or uh, with pen and ink. So. I used to think why certain sketches look better than the finished painting. So obviously there has to be some reason which uh, relates directly with the compositional elements. So the unity of the white space that has been left when I was doing the black sketches is playing a very important role. That is what I realized. And then I said ki in my actual painting, I can employ this like those white spaces are unifying the entire painting. So instead of the painted area, unpainted area is playing almost equal or even more role in the painting. And that space, uh, whatever the shape uh, it is taking, plays a very important role in the composition. And uh, obviously there are colored areas and there is absolutely no color. So this I like to relate with the ideas uh, that we experience in our life. Like color is like uh, colorful life. I mean, in life we, we have to socialize, we meet friends, we want parties, we want whatever, socializing. So we want activity in life. At the same time, sometimes we like the solitude. We meditate or we go alone, uh, experiencing the mountain or whatever. So this solitude and socializing they both are uh, at the same time complementing each other. So of course, this is afterthought which came after I painted it. But then I really saw that this kind of a yin yang or a, um, opposites attract each other kind of a phenomena happens everywhere. So I can say a painting, a process of painting or a thought behind the painting is not different from what we experience in our life. Okay, every little experience in my life is kind of getting reflected in the painting like this idea of socializing against the solitude or whatever you experience in the life ultimately reflects in your painting so please do come back subscribe to the channel